Good morning, my name is Amanda and I am doing a video for my introduction to Sable Management Laboratory class and we are going to teach you how to properly halter and lead and groom a horse. First step is to grab your lead rope and your halter if your horse doesn't have one while he's out and we're going to go and get Sunday right over here. I don't have a zoom in feature. You don't have to have a zoom in feature. You can't see the picture. Alright, I'm gonna turn it. Okay, yeah. Alright. So you always wanna try to approach the horse by their face. Give them a good contact. Pat them, love them up. Hi buddy. Alright. What I do is I put the lead rope just over his withers and up on his neck. Now this is going to be the top of the halter that goes behind the ears and this is the nose band. Hey buddy. Alright, so you want to bring it in front of the horse, over his nose, grab up here in the front. You want to take one hand and point his ear forward and the same with the other ear and they'll follow right through. And then underneath you have the jaw strap and it clips on just like that. Grab your halter, love him up a little bit. And then we're going to grab the loose slack with the left hand and underneath his head with the right. Now we're just gonna do a nice little tug and he will eventually follow. we will wanna look where we're going. And he'll follow, just a nice easy tug. And when he starts to follow you, come back to his face. If he doesn't move, just some pressure and then release the tension and then he'll follow us. And we're going to go walk to the cross ties. Okay, I've, te I've taught you how to make the horse go forward, but now I'm going to teach you how to stop your horse on the ground. So again, we're going to teach him. Then anytime we want to stop, we'll take our right hand that's underneath the horse's head Pull back and say, whoa, whoa. A little bit windy out this morning. Yeah, it is. All right. Now we've got our horse to stop. We're going to ask him, we're going to uh, lead him into the cross size, okay? Good boy. So we always want to be the first one that enters the cross size to avoid getting behind or caught up in your horse's body. And that way he can turn better. And whoa. And pat and rub. Good boy. Okay. Now your cross ties have clips on either side. You're going to take your clip. And you're going to attach it to the square. Oops, sorry, bud. On the side of the halter on his face. He's a good boy. Your winter coat really doesn't know what it wants to do because it was warm and then it was cold, huh? And then detach the lead rope and put it on the hook beside you. Alrighty. Alrighty, so now that we have our horse in the cross tie, we're gonna go ahead and groom. But before that, we need to make sure that we have all of our equipment that we need. So first, we need a hook pick, nice little brush on it so we can brush all that loose dirt off. And then we are going to need a curry brush. I usually use a rubber one with a little bit of the teeth so that it gets all that caked on dirt and fur off. Next is going to be a stiff bristle brush. This is going to help get a little bit more of that dirt and hair off. And then with the finishing brush, it's a bit softer. Actually, it's a lot softer. And it just, just kind of sweeps away any more of the loose dirt and kind of gives a nice polished look. All right. And then with the final brush that I have, we are going to use it for our mane and tail. The bristles are very nice and flexible as I drop it. <laughs> and it's going to help go through that hair really easily. Okay. So first up, I'm going to do his feet. Hey buddy, we're gonna go underneath the cross tie. 
Put our hand all the way down and give a little squeeze just after his knee and he picks it up. Go ahead and come around, babe. All right, see how it's all full of dirt? Sometimes you can just scrape some of, like brush some of that off, but then we start to go ahead and use the tip and just go downward so you aren't flinging dirt and all that lovely stuff up into your face. Here is going to be where the frog is going to start. And we don't want to dig into that because they can feel that. It's not usually the best of things. All right. It's important to pick a horse's feet so that they don't have any, they don't get any infections such as thrush. And so that if they have any stones in their feet, they can pick them out because those stones can actually cause bruises and get up into the foot as it goes out. Now I know I'm picking up towards my face, but I can't really get it out any more than that. So just make sure you keep your face away. Okay, so after you've picked out the foot, it should look like this. And all this is just gonna have to be trimmed off of in, an, in the next week. All right, so now you'll just put it down Nice and easy, rub his leg, and then you'll go around to the other side and do the front foot. The back feet are gonna be a little different. I'm gonna rub my hand all the way down his leg. He's trying to pick it up. So nice and easy. Put your uh, hand around there. I like to try to get him to lower his foot a little bit so he's not so hiked up there. And then you just wanna hold it right at his hairline. You don't wanna hold it at his tip because that can actually, it is very uncomfortable. So I've got a brush. Oh, I really get all that dirt out of there. And the final brush. And then let him put it down. A good rub and a good tap. This good boy. So we've picked out all four of his feet. We're gonna go ahead and start brushing his body with the curry brush. We're gonna start from his ear and we're gonna go all the way back towards his tail. And we wanna use the brush in circular motions all the way around. And you don't need to press very hard. It should be very nice and comfortable for him. Think of it as like a massage. Just to get all that, as you can see, all the loose fur and dirt is gonna come off. All the way around. Definitely wanna get underneath his belly too, cause that's where the girth starts. That's where it sits. Along with his saddle area. As you can see, he's losing his winter coat. So he's shedding quite a bit. As you can see, give the brush a bit of a tap or just pick it out. And keep going. I always like to keep one hand on the horse. It's a nice pet. It helps to reassure like I'm not here to hurt him or anything. This is all positive loves and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Gosh. And normally you don't want to go anywhere below the really bony parts of the horse just because it's not as it's it will he'll feel it more and you don't really need to do that. It's not as comfortable. It's like taking a brush and then rolling all over your kneecap. It's not gonna be very pleasant. That's what we use the bristle brushes for. And then we'll go ahead and do the other side.
Okay. And with this brush and the next finishing brush that comes after, we're just going to same direction, but instead of circles, we're just going to go with the grain of the fur, meaning in the direction that it grows, get up underneath the mane. You shouldn't press them very hard on this one either. It is stiffer. And some horses can be more sensitive to stiffer brushes. So we don't want to press too hard. But just enough to let that happen. And use another brush to get all that loose fur off too. we can kind of go a little further down on his legs especially to get all that dirt off but again don't press too hard you don't have to do that nice sweeping motions just to get all that loose dirt off see there we go Grooming is also a very essential part of owning your horse. Grooming allows you to inspect your horse's coat and any abrasions that he might have gotten, either rubbing on the fence or having an encounter with one of the other horses in the pasture. So you don't know if he's ever got another cut or bruise or if he's sore somewhere. Just an overall look of your horse. And I use this little brush. This is a metal curry comb. I'm just trying to get all the fur off. Alright. And then we'll pull around the same way on the other side of the horse. Alright, last but not least is the finishing brush. Also also known as a polishing brush. Mainly it's just to get that little little bit of excess off and we want to do it in nice sweeping motions and this is just to make them look super super tidy and neat and clean and it'll help get any of the excess dirt and dust and fur off of him again make sure you're going with the horse's fur and how it grows on the insides of the legs back. See, there's still some fur coming off. You know, the dust. And then we'll pull it through with the other side. Nice. So with the soft brush, you can also use it on your horse's face. They do have softer and smaller brushes that are that are better for the horse's face, but you can use this one on him as well. I like to unclip the side of his throat latch here. And it's a nice, use the tip of it. You don't have to use the whole brush. And get underneath that nose band, around his nose. Underneath the jawline, back on the ears, behind his ears.
All right, next will be for the mane and tail. I'm gonna use this brush so that it can really work through his mane. These bristles are very, very bendy, so I want to, he's got a very thin mane, so, but we can we like to start at the bottom and work our way up, just like you would with your hair. And section it off in pieces. When grooming the tail, we don't want to do it in one big heap. We want to section it off little by little, run our fingers through it. And we work from the bottom to the top as we work through the tail. And hold it up to you. I like to do a top brush between the bottom and the top of the hair. That way it doesn't get tangled with the other hair. Bottom, top, bottom, top. Again, you don't want to stand directly behind your horse if you haven't gotten a chance to actually really know them yet. So good, nice to the stand to the side so that he can see you. And then we just put that section down. Grab another smaller section. And then we, and then you, thank you. And then we move on to the next section. So for the bathing aspect, I'm just going to describe a little bit about it since we're not going to do it today, just because it is a little cool out. Um, uh, so some items that you want to have is a sweat scraper to get all the loose dirt, water and fur off, and soap. Um, and then I personally like to use a sponge because it's so absorbent and holds a lot of soap more and so I can thoroughly clean him. For any kind of finishing products I like to use in his mane and tail is the Cowboy Magic. It really helps keep it detangled. I put it on after it's been rinsed and then I let it dry and I comb it through. And then as a finishing body product I like to use um, Shoshin. It helps really re repel dirt from getting really deep under their fur and into their skin, and it's easier to groom the horse on a daily basis. Well, that about wraps it up. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.